Hello everyone, I, Madhulika Shrivastav, class teacher of class 2, is present before you online to teach you mathematics unit 16 time. In this part of video, I will explain before you about time, calendar and seasons. Kush has missed his school bus again. His mother is very angry with him. Kush knows the cause of this problem. He cannot read time from clock. As a result, he gets still late. But he has made up his mind today that he will learn to read the time and never miss his school bus. In this lesson, we will learn about time. Objectives Use a clock to tell time. Name the days of a week. Name the months of a year and identify the number of days in each month. Look at this clock. The visible side of the clock is called its face. It has a dial. The dial has 12 equal division. These divisions are numbered from 1 to 12. The clock has two hands. The longer hand is called minute hand. It indicates time in minute. The shorter hand is called hour hand and it indicates time in hours. Some clocks have a third hand. It is thinnest and the longest hand in the clock. It's called the second hand. It indicates time in second. A day has 24 hours. So the hour hand completes one round in 12 hours and two rounds in 24 hours. Come, now I will teach you how to read time. See the hour hand is on 8 and minute hand is on 12. This means the time is 8 o'clock. We read it, it is 8 o'clock and write it as 8 colon 0, 0. Now, see our hand is between 4 and 5 and minute, in, minute hand is at 6. This means the time is half past 4. We read it as half past 4 and write it as 4 colon 3 0. Now, the minute hand is at 3 and my hour hand is little after 10. This means the time is quarter past 10. We read it as quarter past 10 and write it as 10 colon 1 5. Look, now the minute hand is at 9 and our hand is little before 10. This means the time is quarter to 10. We read it as quarter to 10 and write it as 9 colon 4 5. Come, let's see the time once more. The hour hand is at 2 and minute hand is at 12. It means the time is 2 o'clock. We write it as 2 colon 0 0. Now, my minute hand is at 3 and hour hand is little after 2. It means the time is quarter past 2 and we write it as 2 colon 1 5. My minute hand is at 6 and our hand is between 2 and 3. This means the time is half past 2. We read it as 2 30 
and write it as 2 column 3 0. Now my minute hand is at 9 and hour hand is little before 2. This means the time is quarter to 2. We will write it as 1 colon 4 5. In this way we will see the time. Let's understand the calendar. A calendar shows days, weeks and months for the whole year. Would you like to see and understand that? So let's start. It has 12 months in a year. They are January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November and December. The months of January, March, May, July, August, October and December have 31 days. The months of April, June, September and November have 30 days. Do you know that February is special month? It has 28 or 29 days. Every fourth year it has 29 days. That year is called leap year. In all there are 365 days in a year and 366 days in a leap year. Let's understand week. Each week is made up of 7 days. The 7 days of the week are Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. There are 52 weeks in a year. Let's know about seasons. There are 5 seasons. Summer season, monsoon that is known about we will know as rainy season, then autumn, then pre-winter, winter and at last spring season. First is summer season. It is known as Grish in Hindi. It is the hottest seasons, season of the year. Rainy season is known as Varsha Ritu in Hindi. Autumn is known as Sharad in Hindi. During this season, trees shed their leaves. It is the mark of beginning of winter season, which is known as pre-winter. Pre-winter is known as Hemanth in Hindi. Next is winter season, which is known as Shishir in Hindi. Spring is known as Basant Ritu in Hindi. Flowers blossom in this season. Hope you understood which I explained before you. In next part of video, I will meet you again with my book world explanation. Till then, be happy and goodbye.